Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to make some faux wood veneer leaves. As I have mentioned before, every time I think of the fall, I think of the autumn, I think of all those beautiful leaves that carpet my front lawn. And this year I'm going to be making a lot of cards make uh, using different types of leaves whether, whether they're zentangle leaves or leaves made out of paper towels or rubber stamped it doesn't matter this is the time of year that I make lots of cards with lots of different leaf techniques so here is my faux leaf now it looks like a real uh, wood veneer but it ma is made out of cardboard so this is what you're going to need you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is a cream color and you're going to need also some type of chipboard if you don't have chipboard then some type of box uh, cardboard from a box like a cereal box works really good I like to use I like to uh, glue them together by using uh, this uh, PVA book binding glue I, I just I don't know I just like the way it feels and I like the way it glues things together but I could imagine that using Aileen's ta tacky glue or Elmer's glue would probably work as well now once I've taken the my paper and glued it to my um, my chipboard I'm going to run it through my cuddle bug machine if you do not have a cuddle bug then of course any other type of dye machine machine works well and if you don't have that then get if you have and a leaf stencil trace the leaf stencil and there you will have your leaf shapes now this is this is my paper that I had put all through the cuddle bug earlier this is the actual piece that came out of it all right um this once you 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 put it through your die cut machine or you cut it out you're going to have get your shapes now these things are pretty strong and they do mim mimic wood all right but of course we know that they're not wood they're faux once you've taken your uh, leaf what you're going to do is you're going to get take a brown marker now it could be a um, any kind of marker really it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be any uh, good quality marker as long as it's brown because remember we're going to make this uh, appear as if it is wood veneer so let me go and get my brown marker I'll be right back now here we go this is the kind of marker I I'm going to be using It's the Crayola and just like here where I went ahead and I uh, took my Crayola marker and painted along the edges I'm going to paint along here and it's really very easy as you can see right and it only takes a few minutes also I want to add that if you are into uh, this is this is going to give the effect of of wood but if, uh, the wood veneer but I've noticed that some wood veneer has a very um, a, like a very dull sheen to it all right if you want that kind of effect then go ahead and uh, get some Mod Podge not the very fat the uh, not the Marge Podge that you use for uh, for luster 
but the matte one, and that'll work well. All right, so we just go along here and c color it, kind of trace it along. And we're almost done. So here I've got my wood veneer, faux wood veneer, okay? You can put this on a card. That's what I'm going to do. But you can put it on a card, a scrapbook page, uh, in your art journal, anywhere where you want to uh, embellish. Also, you're going to have a pretty cool uh, stencil here. And this, it's nice and strong. This you can use um, as a stencil. So I hope that this has been helpful. And uh, I'll see you next time. And again, once again, enjoy your beautiful fall art day. Thank you. Bye-bye.